I know how scared and confused you must be regarding next PG and I totally understand it because the government itself hasn't released any guidelines or timetable as to when and how would it be implementing next PG. But don't worry guys, in this video, we'll try to cover as much as possible that is almost all the strategies as to how to crack next PG in final year. So hi guys, it's Dr. Parth Palan here from KM Hospital, Mumbai. But before discussing the strategies, let's discuss what we know about next PG. So what we know about next PG is that uh, now it's a three day game. Now it's no more of a T20 match. It's a test match right now. Uh, so day one, medicine and peds. Day two, surge and ENT. Day three, OBS and Ophthal. So what we can infer from this is that medicine, pediatrics, surge, OBGY, these comprise these comprise of 420 420 questions out of your 540 questions are going to come from final year so this in itself is a very big clue for us that the major chunk of next pg is going to be a final year subjects and then the remaining 120 questions are very much defined that ENT and Ophthal say 60 plus 60, 120 aane hi wala hai so it's very well defined for us so we cannot underestimate ENT and Ophthal right now and also what they have said is that 10% of the questions are going to be from pre and para clinical. So what this means is that now there are not going to be any direct questions and there are going to be mainly integrated questions. Okay, integrated questions from pre and para clinical that is from first and second year. And obviously the one subject that will never stop haunting us is PSM. So 10%, so 10% 10 of 540 is 54 questions so these 54 questions of PSM that's that also is a very big chunk so PSM is also not supposed to be underestimated and we are supposed to know each and everything about PSM as well so all in all I, all I want to tell you is that from this all we can infer is that third I mean the third minor and the third major that is your pre-final and your final year subjects are very 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 important right now so okay so let's start with the strategies while talking about all the all the year subjects one by one. Let's begin. Point number one, final year subjects. We are very lucky that next PG, a major chunk of next PG comprises of the final year subjects. So our first and foremost aim has to be to complete all the final year subjects ASAP. And everybody says read standard books, read standard books, but nobody says how to read standard books. So I'll tell you how to read the standard books. So what you're supposed to do, see like you know that Harrison, you cannot read cover to cover. So what you need to do is first uh, you take a topic and watch its video. And even better would be to just take a topic and read the notes. So once you have the concise version of a topic, once you know that much, then you can go to the standard books. So you know from that one page of a standard book, you'll exactly know how to see because Harrison will have a whole story, one page whole story comprising, comprising of only three important points. So once you have read those three important points from your notes, you'll exactly know that from one page of Harrison what you're supposed to read. So this is the most important technique of reading all the standard books you have in MBBS. Point number two, pre-final year subjects. So I really hope that in your pre-final year, you must have at least started and completed a little bit of your final year subjects as well, because that will give you a little upper hand, okay, this year. And once you have, once you have completed your final year subjects, go back to ENT and Ophthal. See, in NEET PG, the weightage of these subjects was not specified and they were termed, they came under short subjects. But in next PG, we again have an added advantage that we specifically know that ENT 60 questions, Ophthal 60 questions. So 120 questions out of your 540 questions is going to be ENT Ophthal. And these are highly scoring questions, highly scoring guys. You cannot miss them. So go to ENT Ophthal and well, obviously PSM, you just can't stop studying because it will never stop haunting you. Point number three, allied subjects. So these are the short subjects of medicine and surgery, which is S-A-R-P-O, skin, anesthesia, radiology, psychiatry, and orthopedics. So I agree that the weightage of these subjects is not really defined, but let's expect that out of the 120 questions of medicine and 120 questions of surgery, around 20 to 30 questions are going to be of the allied subjects. The same was for NEAT PG as well. And the strategy should also be the same that you just cannot miss them. You have to be very particular. See, because the questions from these subjects are going to be always one liners, always very straightforward. So you will either know or you will not know. So make sure that you read them very nicely and concisely because these short subjects really decide your rank. Point number four, 
first year and second year subjects. So if you have read these first year and second year subjects in your first and second year, then well and good. But even if you haven't, don't worry. Because we know that there are no direct questions going to be asked from these subjects. The questions are always going to be clinical ones or integrated ones. So what you can do is you can start solving the integrated MCQs, which will give you a proper idea about these subjects. Two days per week is going to be more than enough for these subjects. Don't go, don't go in every detail and depth of these subjects and read it in an integrated fashion. Like for example, in biochemistry, whenever you read a cycle, make sure you also read that the deficiency of this enzyme will cause this disease. Then you read the presentation of this disease and how the disease can be cured. This is how you will read. Like for example, also another example in medicine, whenever you read MI, go back to pathology and read atherosclerosis. Then you go back to anatomy and read the uh, coronary arteries of the heart. Then go back to physiology and read the cardiac cycle. And also go back to pharmacology and read the CVS drugs. So this is how you will be able to integrate everything and will, be also, and will also be easy for you to remember all of this. Point number five, timetable and revision. Uh, on all these general topics, I have made another video on how to crack next PG. Uh, you can also click on, you can click on I and also the link is given in the description. So please watch that video. And if you haven't made a timetable, please make a timetable right now. It should comprise of the topic of the specific topic and when you will you be reading that topic because it really helps a lot. Also, don't try to make the whole year's timetable because you will not be able to follow it. But make sure you make a weekly or a fortnightly timetable. And about revision, keep revising. See, because we know that nobody is able to cover the whole syllabus because the syllabus has no bounds. So what is important for us to make a concise syllabus and to keep repeating, to keep revising this concise syllabus as many number of times as possible. So make sure you have a defined syllabus in place with your notes and then you keep revising it again and again because revision is the key. Point number six, grand tests. Grand tests, that is GTs, are very important in your next preparation. And when to start? See, everybody might tell you just start right away, but starting right away will discourage you. When you see the marks, when you see the ranks in five digits, you'll be very discouraged. So what my advice to you will be like, uh, say, keep a target, like for example, three months. So after three months, three months into final year, almost, you know, I, I can uh, hope that around 50% of your final year will be finished. And then you will have some confidence that, okay, then I can attempt at least 50% of the paper out of what I have read. So after three, three to four months into final year, start solving grand tests. And also I have a whole video on how to solve and review a grand test. Please make sure you watch that before solving a grand test. The link is, you can click the I and the link is also given in the description. And if you have any doubts whatsoever, please feel free to connect with me on social media. The links are given in the description and you can also leave your doubts in the comment section below. And please share this video with as many students and next PG aspirants as possible. And always remember, koshish karne walon ki kabhi haar nahi hoti. All the very best guys. Kill it!